Everybody. As you may or may not know, there is a tradition, a long-running tradition in the FGC. This is Scrub Quotes. A long-running account in the FGC, but has reached beyond the fighting game community many times. Many, many times at this point. The thing is, social media is public, right? So you can... Once someone posts something like this, People just tag the account. So I decided to twist this a little bit on its head. I decided to create a safe space this time. So I put out a form last week to have people call in and share either something that people have said is scrubby, that some scrubby opinion that they have, or one of their fighting game hot takes. And here they have a chance to defend themselves in case people think is scrubby because some sometimes they might have good reasoning we don't know i don't really know what they're talking about either i asked in the form what are you generally going to discuss in like one word or a couple of words let's get the first person on it's actually my teammate jonathan denny hello wait is, it, is this anonymous or i mean no i said it's you oh okay yeah, i'm fine yeah, with that yeah uh you you only wrote dps yep. for, for your scrub quote confession all right confess uh -huh. to your lord dps what, are cringe up? why why because i think baiting them is very uninteresting that's it. I don't want to have to bait DPS. That that's it. That's. I don't want. I don't want to have to bait DPS. I don't want to have DPS. I think DPS are cringe and there shouldn't be any. Brother. That's my scrub quote. Brother, you don't be, because you don't want to have to. That's that's the whole reason. Yeah, like I'm not saying fighting game developers should not put DPS in the games. Fair. I'm just saying I would not be mad if they didn't. You know. The one thing I can give you is I will say I'm cool with DPS, but there are cringe DPS. Cringe DPS do exist. What's a DP that's not cringe? What's a DP that's not cringe? Volcanic Viper. Just Volcanic in... Viper is only not cringe as of a month ago. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying about the damage or whatever. I'm just saying about like the move. No, so... no, no, no. I mean, I mean, are seeing it. This this is a separate discussion. So what I mean is like, you know, there's like Teddy's DP that you can't save jump. Yeah, it's just kinda... like yeah, no. So that's what I mean. They're cringe DPs, and then they're just normal DPs. And I'm cool. Mm -hmm. I'm cool Sin with normal DP? DPs. Sin DP is cringe. I agree. The, the, the same okay. way that Street Fighter players talk about uh, true footsies, I talk about true DPs. Down, down DPs are evil, bro. I'm not there with you. You're not there with you. You're not, not there with you. Down, down DPs are evil. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a hundo on down, down. I mean, I'm not a hundo on DP. DPs are evil. I gotta get this in eight. I I think the platonic ideal of a DP is probably not evil, but mm. they're so capped so often. So what's funny is like old games have the shit like uh, like Dimitri DP being minus one and shit. Like you can't punch yeah. him unless you're blocking the air. But then also you don't combo in older games, so it's like kind of okay. Mm -hmm. But boomers, I I know you do, just not all the time. Okay, I get it. I'm, I'm being a little hyperbolic. But then there's certain... I mean I, I would assume the older the game gets, the more evil the DPs get on average. All right, chat. We gotta give Jonathan a rating. What's the rating? That means one out of ten means it's not scrubby. Ten out of ten means it's a omega scrubby. Make chat sure. Chat likes DPS, of course. Make maybe. make sure, make sure. Okay. Chat likes DPS because number one, they like not blocking, and number two, they like seeing a big number when it gets punished. They like uh, both parts of DPS. Ten out of ten, Zato to get Zato. Oh come on, bro. Come Dude, on. I, I'm not. I can Zato's not <laughs> like, in the game anymore, man. Come on. I play Zato because I feel this way. I I wasn't, dude. I I no, I I think it's reasonable. I'll give it like a seven. I, I was I like, what's the most inflammatory scrubby thing I could say? I'm happy I'm happy I succeeded. Oh, good job. What do we on to the next one? Thank you. Tene watch me at VSF, and this is the shit I have to listen <laughs> to. Okay, we got XXFGC. We're doing the scrub quote confessionals right now. And okay. for the next confession, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video. You know, people constantly tell me, gamer, it is time to lock in. But how exactly do you do that when you want to do it? There are many companies that promote highly caffeinated beverages as energy drinks. So that's why I want to give a shout out to Facet Athlete, the sponsor of this video. It might sound weird, but we do play electronic sports. And Facet Athlete has a unique blend of time release caffeine, creatine, and lion's mane. Creatine not only helps you on your path to be built like Broly, but also has cognitive benefits. And the time release caffeine ensures you don't have that typical energy drink crash after a couple of hours. Combine this with lion's mane for memory and brain function. And you get a supplement you can use both at the gym and in bracket. So I've been using it for the past month actually. And as an electronic athlete myself, I've been pretty pleased with it. Now make sure you be responsible though and talk to your doctor before you take any supplement or start any gym program. Now if you're interested, you can click the link in the pinned comment in the video 
or you can go to fastedathlete.com and use code LORDNIGHT for 10% off your order. I also get a cut of any sales, so it helps support this channel as well, and I'd really appreciate it. Once again, thanks to Fasted Athlete for sponsoring the video, and back to the video. You wrote, you only wrote Bedman. I did. Okay, what's up with Bedman? Talk to me. I hear a lot of people talk about Bedman being low tier. Mm -hmm. He's bad. Mm -hmm. I seen I seen Tempest tweet. Like someone was like, is it trolling if I play Bedman? Mm -hmm. And Tempest was like, yeah. Personally, in my opinion, I, I think Bedman, you, you can fuck shit up with Bedman. I be playing bed I be playing against Bedman and I just I get I get rolled sometimes. Like mm -hmm. It's fucked. He does some shit with like JD, like triple overhead. I get hit and it's just like, it's disgusting. I don't think Batman is bad. It might be a skill issue, maybe, but I think he's pretty good. I mean, the thing is, if this <laughs> was 40 days ago, I think people would blow you up, right? Because mm -hmm. everyone says he's like bottom three. But to be honest right now, nobody really knows how good he is right now. Low key. I have zero flame for you right now because I, I not only do I not know how good he is but even in last patch actually not last patch since the character came out I thought he was cringe so <laughs> so I don't think it's I don't think it's that scrubby personally I don't know I might have to go NA on this one I might have to go like three it sounds like you you don't like him for a long time you haven't liked him for a long time he's always been like difficult to deal with also who do you play who do you play Play Happy Chaos. Ew. Ten out of ten. I'm sorry, bro. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten, out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. Bro, I you fucked up. You should have lied. You should have said you, you should have fucking lied straight to my face. You could have lied to the corner. Corner. And then he starts doing some like jump overhead things. Like I don't know how to deal with it, bro. I understand. I understand, but oh man, you cooked yourself, bro. You should have lied to me just now. Have you tried? Uh, have you tried bursting and then slamming backdash and shooting him? Have you tried that? I have. Uh, you have? How's that go? So sometimes when I try to like go into steady aim, mm -hmm. his his fireballs just hit me, and I can't. And then I have to like do some some weird shit. I don't know. Yeah. Skill yeah, issue. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Skill I'm sorry. The chat's been blowing you up with skill issues too. <laughs> I do believe in you though. The good news is there is a path to victory for you, and you picked it on the character select screen. So good job. But we got. I gotta give you the ten out of ten. You 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 exposed yourself by saying happy chaos. Issue. You could have said Potemkin. You could have said you could have fucking said Biken. People would have given it to you. You fucking said happy chaos. You did it to yourself, bro. Sorry. It be I, I, it, it, it do be like that. He gets me. I don't know. It do be like that, but I do believe in you. You're, you'll get over this. You'll get over this. Classified wrote down only resource characters. Please share. This is like a two-parter, and I think I think the LK Island will agree with me, but I think in terms of the overall community, it's a scrub quote for sure. The first part is that just because a character has resource doesn't mean they take skill. That is like a cold take, I think. I think that is like actually just facts. I think that is That is just facts. That is just facts. Right? Yeah, that's that is just saying. facts. That is, you're spitting. The true scrub quote is that the, the resource character in the Guilty Gear Strive, Asuka and Happy Chaos, not only are they not hard because of their resource, but they are actually the most brain dead characters in any fighting game I've ever seen, ever. And they do uh, not I, take skill to win, kind of. Wait, that's wait, you did trap yourself. You set a trap for yourself just now. Yeah. You said out of any fighting game I've ever played. So now you have to say what true, fighting games you played. True. I have, I have only ever been okay at Dragon Ball and Strive. Ooh. But out of any fighting game I have seen that is competitive, they are the most branded characters. Outside of truly like game breaking stuff, like I don't know if, if HC is less brain dead than Carl, like maybe, I don't know, you feel me? But like out of the modern competitive games, I cannot see a character being more brain dead than, than HC and probably Asuka too. That's the thing. Ooh. And I think, I think especially Asuka, this is less HC, Asuka players think they're good and they are literally doing the most brain dead all the stuff ever and they're not good at the game. <laughs> And they think they think they're smart. That characters that characters people who think they're smart, but they're not smart. They're I should just give you my Twitter account for a day, bro. <laughs> bro like, <laughs> it's actually crazy. And notice <laughs> HT players, they all hate they all hate the characters that can just exist against them. Like they all hate Mei and they hate Soul because they can just do things and then they don't like bro. This is this is cold, bro. I don't know, man. <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm just, you know, I, I knew you would agree with me. There's some I, people I that would like, disagree. I knew. I, knew I mean, I, I mean, HC slander and Oscar slander is like 
it's it's like I don't know. It's like telling me you're making Guilty Gear great again. You know what I mean? It's like it's like it's like I'm dark. <laughs> I'm darkness. You know what I mean? Resource characters. The way that they do them in this game is definitely a little different because like you're, you're just routing into like kind of what you do I, I, it's I, I i'm not explaining it the right way but i i do think they're easier to manage in like other games there are like not a lot of resource characters that don't passively get it in yeah, yeah 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 like, or, or they have something that gives it back to them like they a lot of them yeah, have yeah. stuff that give it back to them or it's like passive or like shit like that like i, def I definitely hear you on that this this is this is my cathedral this is i i, knew. I can't say it's scrubby i you i have to it. say you're spitting i you have to, to i have to all right chat you gotta this is you i have to say he's spitting i fucking picked may that's how Yo. much i hate happy chaos and oscar i picked fucking may so zero out of ten that zero out of ten means not omega not scrubby i mean this is my chat to be fair everyone's gonna say zero it is your chat. <laughs> i think it is it is low-key a little <laughs> scrubby like but it's cool it's i'm right it's 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 salty but it's I'm right. cool because i'm right that's that and it's not scrubby <laughs> <laughs> it's not scrubby if you're right i can't say it's scrubby with straight face I think Lord. I think this one we need to ask the YouTube comments because true. I think the YouTube comments might eat me alive. Since but. this is the first one, it is mostly stream regulars. YouTube, especially when this game came out, whew, the comment section used to be a war zone when this came when this game came out. Now it's kind of tamed down a little bit, mostly because we know more about the game patches. We'll see. This one I gotta call not scrubby. I'm gonna call it not scrubby. That that is really hard for me to not say is facts. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is like one of the hardest ones for me to say is is not facts. Dorioku is here. I gotta rope you in a little bit because you wrote like five things. <laughs> you you wrote strive, yeah, sure, volatility, may players, Leo players, geo players, and brain dead. So you have to try try to try it in a way that it makes sense. It's uh, you have a chance to defend yourself. I, I've a, I finally have a, the stage. Geo's broken. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, she's a top tier character. I don't care if she hasn't won anything. I don't care uh, if friggin' uh, Ty dropped her when the season three second patch came through. Everything she does safe jumps. I have the worst reversal in the game at 13 frames for whatever reason. She has a guard crush setup that these people in your cap chat is going to tell me that uh just delay frame just delay a throw like she has a four framer she has a uh excellent mash game she has a good jump she has an air air super that changes direction it's very hard to answer it's very hard to keep her away in general and if the person has a brain which 99 percent of strive players don't have then She's gonna foot to you. She's gonna wait till you whiff. Then she's in your face. It's automatic offense. She wild, wild assaults, automatic offense. FD doesn't do anything. She gets meter like crazy. When she gets meter, her chip is insane. Her durability is insane. Her guts is crazy. I don't really don't wanna hear. She converts off everything. Chavi is stupid. I really don't wanna hear it. Also, <laughs> also on, a, on, a, on another note, Bridget is ridiculous too. And this is just a side note. I didn't include this, but I was thinking about this since I wrote it. Bridget is the most like brain dead, one of the most brain dead characters in the game because they changed her yes, five sir, to be yes, sir, like a sir, sir, yes, What yes, kind of yes, fight is that? <laughs> to where you could just mash your 5H on any type of Twitch. Like, hey, bro, I have so many scrub takes. I'm a walking scrub quote. Like, I'll, I'll, and nobody could tell me anything because I'd be smoking. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, many yes, yes, sir. That's all yes, I, yes, that's sir. All I gotta say. These people want to see me in the game. They can see me. You I, you truly believe Geo's broken? 100%. She's not happy chaos broken. Happy chaos is actually broken. Geo's like fair broken. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she's actually broken. I'm just taking quiet. There's nothing that can change my mind. She is she is the same level as Gold Lewis, which you guys think is actually broken. That uh, that is cap. No, that's not cap. Bro. That is cap, bro. Come on, bro. I swear that's not cap. Bro. Come on, bro. Gold Lewis, Gold Lewis is literally for people who have never played a fighting game before. The the main thing that's why the thing I agree with you is the devs. I this would be LK scrub quotes. I'm about to say some shit that's gonna make people mad. <laughs> The devs think Geo players are so bad that they gave them the guard crush to strike throw because they kept complaining that they couldn't strike throw, even though a strike throw is ridiculous. I, I really, I hate, it really pains me to say that. That move aside, there's so much shit you could do. Gold Lewis is like, you, especially if you don't have a reversal. If you have a reversal on Gold Lewis, 
there is far more clear counterplay. Bro, if you're FD and Gold Lewis, you're wasting your time. But especially before, now he's a little bearable with the weight with the wild assault. So you know, wild assault being minus on block. So now they actually have to think. I actually I've seen one Gold Lewis since they made that change, which is how I know all of them are scrubs. They none of them have played a fighting game. The drone does everything for you, and the half circle does the rest. You guys are scrubs. Like so many of y'all are think y'all nice. Y'all are not nice. If you play Gold Lewis, are you streaming right now? If you play it's Gold called, chat, you're it's, not good. It's called, I promise you. Bro, the channel is called Calls on Stream. And I don't care if it's because I play the quote-unquote zone that you can't get away from. You're not good. You bursting into Burn It Down is the wackest thing in the game. You have, like, so many of the wackest things in the game, and you still suck. Every Gold Lewis player sucks. I don't care what they say. Tournament or not tournament, I don't care what you've won. You haven't won nothing. No Gold Lewis has won except Go Go. Go Lewis players suck, and Go Lewis the character isn't that broken because the players suck. And Giovanna, I mean, is easy, and the players don't really suck that much. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> at, at, they they really not that bad at the game because you have to actually pretend like you actually play footsie. Bro, yeah. you you fumbled the ball because because remember yeah. remember I I have to give you a rating on what you said. Oh, for real? Yeah, you you, for, okay. you forgot that part. So you you cooked yourself. You went from. Giovanna is as broken as Gold Lewis. Two, For sure. saying why Gold Lewis is better than Gio. <laughs> no, no, no. Like just straight not, up. No, no, no. I, I gotta. I, this is not a good. This is like an eight. Ooh. I'm being nice what? by giving you like an eight. What offensive sequence is her four framing whiffing on? Two Ks. Just two Ks. May May up Dolphin two K. Gio does five P. I go under it. May is broken. I I respect the hate. I'm a hater. I'm a classic hater. I respect the hate, but you gotta you gotta make sure you get your facts right. You, you should you gotta come more prepared. You gotta come more prepared. If 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 someone says I'm scrubby about fouls, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. I got you. I got you. On that note, right? I get. I'll take my eight. Whatever. I'll take my eight. Eight is being like generous. Be eight is being generous. I think I really think it should be nine point four three. But you're for sure tripping on this Faust thing. And I'll and I'll and I'll let you know right now that ever since you've been flaming Faust. You have been capped. You've been capping to the whole Strive community this whole time, saying Faust is anywhere near as good as he is. Faust sucks. That's all I want to say. I don't care if you if you're all your main oh. suck. Milia is trash. I don't care if Biking has to play the game and run run around and people. If you add one JS into 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 Yozansen, Faust can't do nothing to defend himself. I don't care if he goes under everything with your with his crawl. He can't do anything to defend himself. Nah, he has to hard call out with some stupid jump. Let me, let me. So yeah. this is this is what I mean by prepared. Before before I take out the call, this is exactly what I mean by prepared. And and, and by the way, I don't actually think skill issue. I don't th actually think Faust is broken. Straight up broken. <laughs> I don't think he's broken. Unlike you, Geo, I don't think Faust is broken. I think Faust is like mid tier. However, on principle, I have to hate item throw characters. I have to. They, they are just scrubby. It doesn't matter if he's the worst character in the game. It doesn't matter if he's not in the game. People are asking him to be in the game. I have to hate item throw characters. You, you be smoking these fouls. Smoking what fouls? Bro, I, there's footage of me playing Apology Man in tournament. And I'm just standing there because there's a kajillion items. He just keeps doing core circles. So I'm like, wow, this round's fucking over. I can't get there. I can't do shit. I can't do shit. I just stood there. We, not broken right now. <laughs> that, we, we, we have to move on. We have to move on. We have to move on. All right, I'm out of here. Peace. Thank peace. you. Thank you. You only wrote gimmick characters. Yeah, so I didn't really know how to put it other than that. But um, my scrub take is that uh, uh, just for context, um, I primarily play Tekken as of now. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how familiar you are with uh, you know, the gimmicks of Tekken. I, I assume you've played enough to understand that some characters are you know very gimmicky in their nature. I am a mighty ruler after all. So my issue is not that I hate gimmick characters. It's that people who play gimmick characters want to feel like they're big brain, giga brain geniuses who are constantly, you know, pulling out some master plan from their mind to like outplay their opponent. I think that's complete <laughs> garbage. And the people who, uh, I'm just gonna say it out. Um, the people who play Yoshimitsu. My bad. Not, yeah, <laughs> they are not smart. They are complete animals. And they are crayon eaters, which is fine. If you want to play like that, that's fine. If you want to play gimmick characters, you have every right to do so. But you cannot sit there and then think you're a genius for doing so. When you mash flash on minus frames on every fucking, you know, <laughs> 
offensive pressure, you do some weird ass spin shit, you unblock a below, you you know, do all this wacky stuff. So and, yeah. I have one question for you. I do have one question for you. What character do you play? Yes, this is it. So right here, I play Dragonov. I am not gonna downplay my character. Dragonov is amazing. He is really good. To be fair, I am an OG Dragonov player from Tekken 5. How good was Dragonov in Tekken 5? Uh pretty bad. Really bad. All right, all right. You're really, paying, really you're, bad. You're, you're, you're paying for being in jail. Yeah. You're, you're paying for being in jail. That was probably a long time. Of drag mm -hmm. Wait, what about six though? No, six. Six. He's a lot better because they made a lot of changes that really helped them, such as uh, wall running two being much better on block. His offensive pressure is actually usable. Seven. So he's a lot better in six. In seven. In season one, he was a top tier character, but over the life cycle of seven, they. Not only, this is also, this sounds scrubby, but they introduced a lot of um, dumb DLC characters. Fair. Uh, you know, very, yeah. With him getting his key moves nerfed and he not really getting any buffs to compensate, it kind of became a case of you were playing a character that's way too honest for what other characters could do. And in Tekken 8, I, he is amazing. Great. Mm -hmm. I am not going to do that my character. Yeah, he that is top wear. tier. Yeah. I can't hate on somebody who hates on Yoshimitsu, bro. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't do it with a straight face, man. I mean, I mean, as long one thing, you know, maybe maybe most people won't give you this pass, but I'll actually give you this pass. When you when you hate on something and you play something stupid and you admit it, I respect that a lot. Yeah. So you know um, I mean? also for people in chat, I am not denying that Dragonov players aren't gorillas. We are gorillas because everything we do is amazing. I'm not gonna downplay that i just don't want yoshimitsu players to downplay <laughs> the fact that they're also gorillas and... uh, uh so the only thing the only thing that i can kind of give you is i am not good at tech i i am i am one of the genius mighty ruler in one week and i didn't do it with king right so my brain yeah. was my brain was on i will not say what character i did it with though that no, i did with bowser senna i'm trolling i did with bowser senna but so i i know that yoshimitsu is kind of cat but i can't say it in like an educated way so i'm gonna give you just a flat five so really 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 your fate is in chat's hands yeah you got the spread too it's like two five seven someone give you a hundred someone give you a hundred out of ten so they they think you're yeah. omega auto capping but it's because he That's played uh, Dragon uh, but yeah. uh i mean hey yoshi players uh you know yeah, I can actually make my take even scrubbier by saying at least Dragonov has to play honest Tekken. As <laughs> honest as he can with the tools he has. <laughs> that's, that's, the that's, that's the one. 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 No, no, thank you. Thank you for the take. Thank you. All right, Young Falcon, hop, hop on. New fighting games lack sauce, therefore they are boring. What do you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let me let me elaborate a little bit here. Okay. So I got into the scene for context around like 2018, right? So I played, I was, I was similar to you. I was a Smash player, you know, kind of obvious by the name. Uh, enjoyed that stuff. And then I moved into Dragon Ball Fighters. Now this was during that time when you hop in. And I think you guys know the, the gist. Auto combos are there. People are calling the game mad. Scrubby, you know, uh, it, it's it's baby mode. It's easy, all that stuff. That really made me mad. I always thought those games were kind of cool because it was basically like Marvel 3 to me, but uh, a little easier, right? A little more accessible. Um, as time went on, we get to like BB Tag. I thought the game was pretty fast paced, pretty chaotic, good stuff. And then <laughs> we enter Strive Era, as I call it. So I played Strive for all the season one. Mm -hmm. uh, until, up until HC. HC is when I basically dropped the game. I was like, I can't take this anymore. I played Geo. I was a little carried, I won't lie. Because uh, in my opinion, that character was mad broken. But it, it made me learn the game in a way that I was not a fan of, which was basically just sitting down, studying heavy. Uh, everything was mad framed out of heavy. And I just I just couldn't play by Phil. I had to like actually hop in that lab and, and, and figure stuff out. And that's normal, right? To be fair, don't get it twisted. That's normal. You know, that's a part of the fighting game experience. But at the same time, I didn't like that it felt like everything was just boiling down to the math of it, right? I'm studying these frames. I know when I have to be plus. I know I have to do these certain things, right? And it made me really frustrated. So I started going back. I was like, I'm gonna learn Exard. So I started learning Exard. And I realized uh, whether it's my casual level or whatnot, I was just having more fun because I, I didn't have to do that stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm mashing buttons. Mm -hmm. My Gatlings are working. I, I, I just get a swing. It felt fantastic. I, I boot up. G GGST? Oh, it's linear. I only have only so many ways to do these options. I don't feel like there's a lot of scramble stuff that I can I I, I can do. You know, it it, it <clears> felt <throat> strange to me. It felt strange to me. Mm -hmm. So 
moving forward, Street Fighter 6 comes out. You know, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of the similar stuff where it, the game feels relatively uh, uh, linear, and I want to do cooler things. I like I want to I want to flow. I want to move and, and do fun stuff. But at the same time, like I just feel like I can't. So I don't know if it's a personal thing. Yeah, it's just it's just that's just how I personally feel. I just I just feel like the older games gave me more. Uh, how do I put this? Like like more tools, more options, and and whatnot. Uh, to, to do things that felt felt natural mm -hmm. <laughs> rather than like me kind of following like a linear path which mm -hmm. I'm not completely opposed to because I play games like Grand Blue and I think it's kind of kind of dope uh, I mean I, I, I'll, I'll give you a win is that Skill issue. I, I, I'm I happy you find things that you enjoy that's the most important sure. thing about what you said this this from my perspective is a pretty scrubby take this is the shit that YouTube kills me over kills me even <laughs> though I feel like even though I feel like I've explained myself Clearly, on why I feel right, this way, right. I get murdered for this. Okay, no, I'll, I'll just give it to you straight. I'll give it to you straight. Sure, sure, yeah, go for it. It sounds for like it. you want to be lawless. You don't want rules. It sounds like you kind of just okay. want to do what you want when you want. One thing I'll give you about Strive is that it is definitely more direct of like, this is what's up. Like, you block this, these are the options, da da da. So it's mm -hmm. very, as someone who also, I also played Exert, you may or may not know. I played Exert. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Exert is. Exert is equal or more of that than Strive, but right. it doesn't matter for a while. Where Strive, I think it comes quicker, Ooh. partly because it's more competitive. Partly because the game's just more competitive, so there's more people who play. Uh, there's more people who play broken shit because the game is like on tours and shit than Exert. Where Exert, people right, mostly right. just play what they like, and they just play the style that they like. I think it's fair. Also, like liking team games, team games naturally, oh, it's that. very hard for it, it, you actually have to be quite good at team games to like box somebody for lack of a better word into like set mm. options you have to be pretty good smash also you have to be pretty good so it, it sounds it sounds like you have a specific style of game that you like and you and you game. play them which is great yeah. that's the best that's the thing that's saving you from like a nine out of ten i, I actually when you were talking I was like okay, dude okay. what the fuck but you're like okay, yeah okay. i just did it fuck with strive so i just played this and i thought this was cool and i played that and i thought that was cool and i was like he saved himself you're, you're, you're valid because you, yeah, yeah. you you address I mean like for example I don't like I'm known for not liking tag fighters you know it's not common that like someone goes I hate this so I'm gonna find something that I like about it that's what I'd be doing I'm like well, I hate this game so I gotta find okay, something okay. that I like but what normal people do go they go oh like I hate happy chaos shooting at me so I'm just gonna turn this game off and turn on another game <laughs> that's what normal people <laughs> do you know yeah, yeah, yeah. you have actually done something that many people don't do where you look at something and you engage with it and you're like man i don't fuck with this you didn't say it sucked you said you don't fuck with no, it no no yeah. yeah you said it's you don't fuck with it. it yeah you don't fuck yeah. with it and then you press the off button it's a two because you're just like yeah oh, yeah see, yeah I you might pull yeah. like you you were like a couple of sentences off from this being like one of the scrubbiest things i heard all day chat what do you think yeah, what do you valid. think this this, this is a this, this is like a two this is like a two this is like not scrubby at all the common sense and logical thinking saved this dude's day. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. At the end of the day, uh, I did come around to season four minimum for Strive, at least. I think Giovanna's really sick. I like the new stuff they added for her. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you know, get, still still fun time. Just, yeah. you know, not something I would play hyper competitive, you know. Best of luck to the rest of y'all, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, 100%. This, this, was, this was dope. Thank you. Okay. So what? your name, your handle is Pretzels, and you wrote pretzels. motion inputs. Yeah. Yes. I yeah. feel like mine might not be that scrubby, but I think it's something most people wouldn't agree with. Okay. It, it's it's kind of a two-parter. First part is I think games without motion inputs for special moves or supers are objectively less fun to play. Interesting. Because it takes away a lot of the magic of, of fighting games. Like special moves without special inputs aren't special moves they're just regular moves know what i mean no <laughs> i'm gonna be i'm gonna be real so, i'm gonna be real i might i might be your your opponent on this one so uh, like to me special moves aren't really hard to do anymore because i'm i've been playing fighting games for a long time because you're a boomer but i was talking to a friend of mine like a few months ago who doesn't mm -hmm. play fighting games at all mm -hmm. and i remember i challenged him to try and beat like the easiest level of combo challenges in some game. I don't remember what game it was. Okay. And he talked to me like, like throwing a fireball, throwing a Hadouken in a fighting game feels like casting a magic spell because of the input that you have to do. 
you feel in your hands how much more powerful it is than just mm. pressing a button. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I, okay. Let, 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 let's dance a little bit on this one. How do you feel about games where the only special moves are quarter circles? Too, too little fine. or too much? It's fine? I think that's fine, but okay. it's a little boring. I like having like DPs or half circles, stuff like that. I think it's fun. How about a game where uh, it has special moves, but the DPs are a button? Depends. It depends. It depends. Like uh, Persona, Persona Arena, for example, mm. I think it's fine. I don't think Persona Arena is boring because the, the inputs are simple. I think it's fine. What is too simple? What is too simple? Is 2x scale too, too simple? simple? Is 2x scale too simple? From what I saw, the game looked complicated enough. It looked, it felt like Marvel to me. Mm -hmm. It looked fun. It looked fun to watch, but I don't know how it would feel, it would feel on my hands. Mm -hmm. I, by the way, I'm your opponent on this. I don't, I actually do not care. Whatever the game tells me to do, I'm going to do it. There, there are certain motion inputs I think are unfair, but... Is it too hard? No, like, um, for example, uh, let's take DP, right? So DP is, is in a normal game is forward, down, down forward, right? Like six, two, three. Right, but like they're they're DPS that are two two. So like the the first fighting game I played, Arcade has down down as a DP. So that means either side she just does. CL has it too. Down down DPS or um, how certain moves have option selects depending on like the the common one is the, the Guilty Gear option select DP where you hold FD and you do the DP the other way and stuff. Um, that stuff that that's, that's, that's kind unfair. of okay. That that one's is okay. That one's I. But like as far as them existing or not existing i don't like it doesn't really make a difference to me i'm not a i'm not a competitive player i just mm. play fighting games for fun yeah so when something is more fun i don't care if it's balanced or not yeah it's just fun yeah so even even apart from balance uh, a character that has an option select that is unique to them makes them cool even if it's broken i mean i mean fair fair I, I can't i can't say it's invalid uh because everyone's gonna have a like if you're playing for fun like it doesn't really matter but then i'm like the opposite i'm like okay I'm, i usually most the main games i play i play competitively i'm just like yeah whatever they do they do like if i if i didn't like it i wouldn't i just wouldn't play it in the end um, and the other part mm -hmm. that i was talking about is that i think fighting games are better when simple things are harder to do when combos are easier to drop and punishes are not guaranteed you say you think they're better? I think they're more fun, and that's the case. That also might be a preference thing. I'm not gonna lie. Like, like I I flame Happy Chaos a lot, but I don't blame them for playing the character because they they do stuff that makes the game more more stable. Happy Chaos is hard, isn't he? No. Isn't Happy Chaos no. hard? No. He's not. No. Like, no. The the conversions that Happy Chaos does from from full screen with gunshots so, seem so impressive. Like that's not difficult to do. It it's easy to do. Trust. A combo that looks so cool like that, when you know it's easy, it becomes less impressive. When you see someone doing it like in tournament, you think, oh, they're just gonna do the combo, it's easy. They it don't it doesn't have the the edge. Yeah. It, it also puts more onus on you to practice your execution. You you would have to practice execution no matter what, don't know, because execution is not just combos. Yes, but I like when the simple stuff is difficult so that you have to get good at the simple stuff to get to the higher stuff when you get to to like the high end of fighting games where you're mm -hmm. actually fighting your opponent rather than fighting your controls if you get there too fast it kind of bastardizes everything that came before it because that that's the thing that see that's the thing i disagree with of course it depends on the game it's not like everybody who learns things that let them play the game all of a sudden i am you're not exactly saying this i'm 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 kind of stretching this but like all of a sudden get to like a really high level just because they could execute some stuff no i agree yeah but like if you can't do your bnb over 50 percent of the time you mm -hmm. can't really play the game mm -hmm. properly mm -hmm. isn't that true so like let, let's say it's a game that has easy combos so like they're just able to play right so uh somebody who plays a game learns the combos because they're easy and then their improvement comes from playing and refining matchups do you not do you, do you weigh that differently compared to like execution or something? But that's a player choice. When a player consciously chooses, okay, I'm not gonna do anything difficult. I'm just gonna keep to the basic stuff and play the game with my basic tools. That's cool. But if everyone's forced to be like that because the game is just easy, that's not cool. Interesting. Interesting. 
it's a take that I feel like is is fair for like the field of players, right? Because because also competitive players are such a small percentage of the player base, right? It's compared to compared to like everybody. I I think I gotta give you like a flat five. I think it's I think it's very it's definitely a preference thing. It's for me this thing is is hard. I think I think five is pretty fair. I don't think it's I don't I actually don't think it's a crazy take. You, there's a lot of crazy shit you could have said about motion inputs. I think. Uh, but your 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 take was good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for having me. Of course, much appreciated. All right, we got you. What's up? Uh, just, you're talking about to... uninstalls and yeah. Slayer, right? Um. Okay. Slayer was a quick one. I just wanted to say I think people. I think that there are some people who really shouldn't be complaining about Slayer because they get hit by two H at round start. Do you play Slayer? But I play False Slayer, Gold Lewis, Jacko, and Soul. Okay. I, play, I I get around, but I think that some people just do not deserve to complain about Slayer because they don't know the matchup. Now, my real hot take okay. is a beef that I have had since season one. I must okay. I was a season one Foss player. Okay. And this is this was on Nagoriyuki, and I was like, okay, it's on Nagoriyuki, it's whatever. And then Abba comes out. These two happen to have resource management involved with their game plans. Okay. And coming out of that resource management, you'd think would be their lose condition, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's the I call them uninstalled. Okay. Uh, not ah. like dragon uninstall, like the meme. I I honestly hate. Well, not not a little bit less Abba. I hate that Nago basically gets a free BRC whenever he exits, whenever he uninstalls from blood. I think he should fucking lose because he didn't hold that shit. Mm -hmm. He played his hand wrong. He should fucking lose. Mm -hmm. I don't have a, as big of a problem with it on Nago because, you know, the health drain or whatever, that's fine. On Abba, however, why the fuck does she get invuln and I guess she can only block for 10 frames, but who the fuck is out here doing a 10 frame high low? And the thing is with her is whenever she leaves her win con, that should be her losing condition. She should be in a disadvantaged state more than just a 10 frame mix up. I think she should be punished more like she was in the old games. I also think she's generally a bit, I really am not a fan of the fact that she starts with 50, 50 resource on round start. You think she start think less? Work up to it. I think she should start with nothing. I think all resource characters should start with no resource on round start. Just to standardize it across the board. But I think that Alba is generally a bit too strong outside of Jealous Rage. That is me scrubbing. That's me scrubbing, scrubbing. Uh, and I know that Tumbly Tim is, has been out here calling me for this shit forever, handing me the Leo documents from fucking Dust Loop, extra Dust Loop, and I'm just like, I don't want to have to read all that shit. My, I am monkey brain, all right? I play the you brain play characters. I play Faust, I play Slayer, I play Soul, I play Gold Lewis, <laughs> I play Jacko, the silly. I, but I genuinely think that the uninstalls are stupid. The fact that they time stop, the fact that Skill they didn't issue. manage their resource, they fucking played bad, and it feels like at some points they get rewarded. This, this I, is defending Slayer 2H. This this is this is this is cop so it high key is a skill issue. This is actually a skill it, issue. This, this is actually a pre scrubby take. Abba's I, I, uninstall is a lot worse than Nago's. Nago's is busted. I actually agree. Nago's is fucking crazy, actually. But Nago's in Nago's case, he, no, he did he did pop, so he should die while he pops. A, a, especially if you did because it, it, the pop is punishable, right? A, Abba's is a hard one to come at. Her her uninstall automatically makes whatever she did like minus 10 worse so she's not punishable but she can't do anything the the saying that research like saying that she should start with zero when she has no way to get it passively to me is crazy like she has no way no, to get that passively got, like 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 i would she's got plenty that's of not that's control. not passive She'll that's active fine. that's active that's act. they have to parry something like like because because if you say wait 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 so if you say go ahead for example if you say all resource characters should start with zero right mm -hmm. nago starting with zero is different than abba starting with nago starting with zero is the same fucking character where abba is not functional <laughs> almost i guess i was more so thinking like uh, you know gold lewis starts with zero but someone like like Jacko gold lewis zero is, is fake so gold lewis zero is fake he gets level two in it like a second fake. it doesn't yeah it doesn't it, that one doesn't matter too too much mm. i was just i was just saying that to like try and level the playing field it, but it doesn't thing. level the playing field 
Cause some characters, some characters, they literally don't give a fuck about having nothing. Like, like, like for example, HC would care a lot if he started with zero focus and it had to fill up before he could play the game. They would, they would explode if they did that to him, right? Or another character that'd be that'd be fucked, but in a cool way, because I'm a scrub too. <laughs> is, is if Asuka if Oscar started with no mana and he had to charge it, that shit would be fire. <laughs> that, well, shit would be fire. that shit would be fire. You're he spinning, should. you're spinning. But I said it's scrubby. It's definitely it's definitely a scrubby take for me. I I understand. So like the main, I I gotta give you like an eight or nine on this. By the way, that, yeah. this no, this shit I is cap. It. This shit is cap. The it. only the thing I'll give to you for Abba especially is that a lot of people don't look at the bar. Uh, so they they miss their chance to capitalize on it and then they get hit by accident that that, that happens a ton in uh, my match I, I can literally tell how good someone is against abba by what do they do when i exit people say a fat fucking 10 whole hold my potato i would fucking love it for some of the characters in the game but i know it's not like a reasonable ask you know I, it yeah. really is not a reasonable ask I, I think that one was good thank you oh shit we got skynet <laughs> I have to protect the earth. <laughs> Wait, hello? Hello? Oh shit, are, are you good? Uh, yeah, I'm just on mobile in my college. I'm just sitting. Okay, it's all right. Um, yeah, we just, uh, so you wrote play styles that make rounds unfun. Uh, what's up? Talk oh yeah, my scrub tip would be that I actually hate fighting against people that just <clears throat> capitalize on being lame. Duh, you need to win. You need to play out the how you're supposed to play out your advantages. I, I actually know what you mean because I, I I do this. <laughs> I, I do this. Yeah, yeah. I, I and, and what I mean is like this is actually one of my worst hat. There's actually a couple of friends of mine that also have this habit. Um, and <laughs> wait, you, maybe you shouldn't use your college Wi-Fi. You're back. Um, all right, we're gonna try to make this quick. We're gonna try to make this quick. Um. Okay. I have a habit of when uh, I notice someone is doing something that I think is bad, I try to target that thing aggressively. So like, let's say someone's matching backdash non-sub, I'll target the backdash non-sub. If someone's flailing on something, I'll sit there and wait for one specific thing and then punish it. I do something like that. I don't think it's exactly what you're saying, because you're saying like, lame, however you define lame. But uh, mm. it's like in the same line, you know what I mean? It's kind of, in a way, like, you know those layer clips where people just dash, 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 and the person's, like, losing it? Like, running away. Kind of like that. Um... Just lose trying to mash button. This layer just keeps... So it just side switches every time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hear, I hear that. I hear that. The the things that I Oh, he muted himself. <laughs> Dude, my man's on Starlink, bro. <laughs> I don't think I could top that.